Okay. So we're going to do some more Suck Worlds. Uh, I actually had a whole list of... Um... Oh, wait. Hold on for a second here. Um, I had a whole list of worlds, like some new stuff that I was trying to go through last time, but uh, I only got through a handful of them. A lot of the ones I went through last time were like uh, Vine Sus related in some ways, and, and I still have some more that I need to go through. Nice fishing hat. Yeah, the hat's going to stay uh, for now. I didn't want to switch them off. <laughs> um, let's see. I need to... Let me adjust my layout really quick. I had to use... I have different overlays. And I have like this big one here for games that are a bit bigger. Let me see if I can find the small run really quick. If you give me a second, so I can figure out where my... Where is the small one? Oh, here we go. There we go. We're gonna do Sock Worlds. Um, let me get the rest of my weird crap up here. There we go. Back to the regular layout. Um, all right, let me see what I have on my list here. Is my audio coming through okay? Just making sure. Okay, so um, let me start. Go to explore here. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like we got. Let's see, this is on newest. Well, I see, like, already some new stuff here that people have been making that I haven't checked out yet. So I only have, like, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That actually might be enough maps. I'm going to see if I can try and do two hours of this, but if I get through these quickly, then I might check the, the new maps here. Um... Now, some of these have music and some of these don't, so just kind of expect some of these maps to be kind of quiet while I'm I'm just talking. So, duck hole map. Yeah, there might be... I, I don't know if there are, like, duck maps in here. Um, let's go... We're going to start with uh, Rat World. Rat World's, like, the first one. Is it Rat World? Rat World by Celsius. Let's see how this one is. If you've never seen Sock Worlds before, it's like, uh, it's like egg-like. It's like an egg-like game that in, in people can create their own maps and, uh, with, like, images that are hosted on Pixabay. Oh, there we go. Psst, turn around. Oh, God. It's Ratception. So yeah, people do some like really weird shit with these. Uh, let me. Get, oh my god. Yeah, I've seen a few of these. Like, uh, what is this? Is this this like a 3D model? You doing these little self-contained levels that don't contain coding knowledge? Yeah, I I like stuff like this that just you know people are able to easily put together that are like little rooms and stuff. I don't know if this is like a 3D model or like m m naked mole rat sculptures that that a bunch of images exist of on Pixabay because I've seen these around. Is this the rat hole? P.S. I'm sorry for triple upload. Oh, okay. This game confused me. Wait a minute. What is this? An arrow? Oh my god. The arrow is made out of rats. Maybe it's a taxidermy rat? I don't know. It doesn't look like one. Okay. I need to jump up here. If I can manage it. Platforming in this game is hard. Rit. We get Ritz. That's not a rat. That's a, um... That's some sort of desert mouse. Is that a pika? Um, I think this is uh, what they call a pika, which is an actual thing. It's an actual rodent. I think it's like a desert rodent. They're very cute. Discord sounds? Oh, well, shit. I can't do anything about that. I, uh, I did so I think I had to do something with Discord and it, like, re-enabled all of my, my sounds that I had actually turned off. So you guys, yeah, that was, that may have been mine. I'm sorry. Do I want to even peek over there? I can't, I don't know if I can, like, quickly dis disable the sounds at the moment. So actually, you know what? Yes, I can. Hold on. If you give me, like, one second, I can do that really quickly. Just have to, like, alt-tab out of here real quick. Um, you just go into my manual... Just my manual settings. 
let's see, volume control. I should be able to, I'm just gonna mute, there we go. That works. Got more long rats. More, more naked mole rats. Uh, the rat chambers await you. Why is this thing stand? No. <laughs> no. The rat chambers await you. What's gonna be in the rat chambers? He's like uh, an exhibitionist just rocking around like that. He awaits you. What's gonna be around here? Oh, this is like another area that you can explore. Another like rat hole. Uh, the rats? Oh, here we go. Rats, rats, we're the rats. We pray at night, we stalk at night. We're the rats. Um, I have a question. Th that song, what is the origin of that song? Because I only know it through that movie maker thing that I think somebody made for Germa. Is that specifically a Germa thing? Or is that something that existed before that movie maker thing for Germa? It was a germ. Oh, okay. Holy shit. Well, we got a germ reference in here. Uh, check out my six tat, my sick tats, bro. Oh no. Look at the nip. Oh, they put nipples on it. No. It's a Jeremy original. He jer he wrote it. <laughs> oh god. Nude mole rats. It won a Grammy. <laughs> Holy shit. We have the rat king here. That's not even a rat. I don't know if this is a rat. It doesn't look, it might be a rat, but it doesn't, it has a, a different face. These are rodent-like, but I don't think all of these are rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Oh, wait, there's like more. What the fuck is this? I love my hot clothed rat wife. See, this is, this is the golden stuff uh, of Sock Worlds. This is what Sock Worlds is great for. Just so much cursed con- like, user-created content. It's- it's just so good. Oh my god. Oh no! Can I, like, jump over the rats? Can we get to, like, the naked- I- I don't think we can. Oh wait, what's this? What the fuck is this? Where did I end up? I just fell somewhere. Oh. Holy shit. Map by Doormat. Uh, thank you. Thank you to Hackish for keeping me company while making this. Thank you to Space for the rat tunnel idea and the rat nipples. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm stuck in darkness now. Can I actually... Huh. Alright then. That's a good map. <laughs> now you don't want to bust out the brie you have in the fridge? I don't think I've ever tried that. I have not explored enough of the, the cheese. The alders offer when it comes to cheese. Uh, next one is Neighborhood? Neighborhood. By Tokshed. And, uh, fortunately some of these take a little while to load because of how many images some of these need to load in so it's a nice mild soft cheese that tastes good with jam and crackers ooh you know i used to make um way back when you know before a bunch of shit happened i used to uh, make jam stuff a lot like homemade jam and everything with stuff that i would grow in my garden and i used to make pepper jam and pepper jam is really fucking good with uh, cheese and crackers and like sausage. So that sounds like the kind of cheese that would be really good with, with some kind of like, like pepper jam. It's like a whole neighborhood in here got going on. Uh, a mishmash of like weird neighborhoods. I like the way they built the houses though. It's this dude, well, oh, is he having a little, um, have having a little fun fun party up there. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
Someone help that man, he's stuck in the lake. It's just a town of these dudes. This almost was like some kind of like, there, there's like a sci-fi story behind it. Like, imagine this town. Yeah, yeah, what, what, what is this shit going on here? There's like, um... You know, some sort of like, uh, nuclear, uh, factory behind here. There's like a, a jet that, that crashed here. It's a, t yeah, that's what I was about to say. Is it a town of clones? And maybe the clones don't even know that they're clones. Maybe they just, like, they grew up like this? And they think, like, it's normal for human beings to look just like him. Like, he doesn't know that he's a clone. He just thinks it's it, everyone looks like him. And he's just going about his day-to-day -day life. He's like, it's like the Truman Show, but, like, worse. Wait, there's like, well, I guess maybe not, because there are, are women. So maybe, maybe, here, let me change that. The lore is that, um... Only the guys, only men, look just like him. There are no other men. They all look like him. It's just clones of him. Because obviously, I mean, they're supplying. Like, this place might be quarant uh, quarantined off, but, like, they're supplying the, you know, the goods so that he can enjoy himself. We don't know what they're doing with the clones or what they're using them for, but he seems to be having a good... Actually, you know what? Never mind. You know what? He he is having a good time. He gets to enjoy all the faucets of human nature. Um, everything. D did he kill, like, do you think he killed, like, another clone? Or was that, like, maybe, maybe someone snuck in that wasn't, that didn't look like him. And he's like, oh no, it's an alien or an imposter. Because, because, like, what if he, that's the thing. He's only used to seeing it, if it's, like, uh, guys. He, he grew up thinking that everyone is supposed to look, look like him. So if somebody snuck in that doesn't look like him, that's, that's a guy, you probably think it was like some sort of alien, right? Or something wrong with him? And that's probably, maybe he was trying to defend himself. Maybe that's what, what was going on. Like someone snuck in, he's like, oh, what the fuck? You look different from me and killed him. So so maybe it was out of defense. We, we don't know what's going on. What's going on there? There's a lot of mysteries in this town. You miss growing strawberries and blueberries? I used to have blackberries around and we, I used to make jam for blackberries all the time. What's he doing over here? Oh, I see you got yourself a gun. What you gonna do with that gun, sir? Uh, maybe it's for defense, cause I mean, Maybe they have, because this is like a place that's quarantined off, maybe they had people um, try and sneak in to find out what was going on. And so they have to, the clones have to defend themselves from the weird people outside. The weird human beings. Are these clones, maybe? Maybe they are. Does he have a deer carcass in here? No, that's not a deer. What kind of deer is that? Oh no, are these his sons? Oh no, what if they all- Oh shit, I got myself stuck, god damn it. Well, I think that was all of it. Um, I was gonna say, like, there's there's some smaller- Yeah, his children's. They- they just- The clones just, like, look like that when they're- When they're smaller, and then they just grow- Grow big, and that's it. Very, very strange. Is He's human- He's holding a skull, though. Uh, is- maybe the skull is of something they killed that snuck in, maybe? Oh yeah, the, um, a dig dig? Is that what that's called? It's a type of deer. Or is it pronounced dick dick? Because I don't want to say dick dick because, obviously, funny peedy. So it's like a funny peedy thing, but... Mitosis. Let's see, when they get big enough, they split in the two. So they don't- what's the purpose of the women then? There, there's obviously some women in this map, but do they even fuck the women? If they- if they split, like, cells, they- they don't need to, like, have birth the normal way, right? So, do they eat the women? Is the women, like, their food supply, maybe? She's mommy. I don't know. A lot- a lot of sussy things going on in this map. <laughs> Holy shit. Um... 
Next one is Don't Look Back. I love... Okay, another thing that's great about these maps is I like trying to piece together what the fuck the, the creator was intending. Because, um... Wait, why is this not let me search for it? Did, did the map get yitted? Um, when you try to make maps with whatever images are hosted, you're... I mean, you... You're stuck using what's hosted on the service, so you're like trying to, it's almost like trying to piece together a story with clip art in a way. Um, for some reason, this whatever map. Okay, for, the search is a little weird. Sometimes shit doesn't like pop up. Don't turn around. Unspeakable horrors. Well. Oh, oh no, chat, look. A whole pineapple on top of a, uh, what is a, a Neapolitan pizza or a margarita pizza? That's a travesty. I actually do like pineapple on pizza, but I, I would not, you know, the traditional, the traditional kind of Italian pizza, that would be considered a war crime to do that. <laughs> to a look back in anger. <laughs> That's all that this map is. <laughs> Holy shit. A whole pineapple. Yeah, just roast a whole entire pineapple with fucking pizza. That looks good, though. I need to get... There's, um... Ham is just uh, barely less offensive. I actually like different types of pizza with combinations and stuff. Um, you know, outside of the traditional thing. I'm more open to trying uh, different things on pizzas before. I've had, um, there's a really cool pizza place called, like, Rock and Roll, like, Rock and Roll Pizza or something like that that we have, and one of the pizzas that they offer is, like, um, has pear and, um, sweet sausage and I think almonds or some other type of nut on it, and it's really, in white sauce, and it's really fucking good. So I'm open tr uh, to trying pizzas like that. Persian pizza's also got stuff like that on it. Like they put nuts and like figs and like uh, fruits and things like that on their pizza. So every place is different, but that it's really fucking good. Okay, so that's that map. Um, we also have, there is a place that makes really good traditional um, Italian pizza, but it's like way out in the boonies and they have this method for their pizza crust that's called like the three day method. And it uses simple ingredients, but it takes like three gay, three, yes, three days. <laughs> it takes three days to cure the, the, the crust of the pizza. Um, it's a tradition. <laughs> It's just, uh, it uses, like, all it does is uses, like, um, the various, like, three different ingredients or something, so, um, it's really fucking good, though. The, the, um, the crust, the thing is with that method, the crust itself is so fucking good that they serve the crust as, like, um, like, by itself in pieces that you can use to dip in, like, uh, a spinach cheese dip or something. It's so good. The only issue is that it's, like, way out in the sticks, so, <laughs> um, yes, all, all inclusive pizza, governor explosion, all inclusive pizza. Um, let's see. Next one is Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Well, we're going to, we, we're going from, from the, the best foods to perhaps the cursed. I will say I, I, every once in a while I'll have Taco Bell. Um, but it's a very, very rare occurrence, and only, it's only out of convenience. It doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't affect me too bad, but, like, um, I stay away from, like, the stuff that's, like, too greasy. This is, like, a fancy Taco Bell. Where the fuck is this at? Like, New York or something? A brick wall Taco Bell? I require tacos to perform life functions. We've got different type. We got burritos. We got tacos. We got tacos in love. Tacos are delicious. Tacos eating tacos. Consume, consume, consume. Oh, well they they got a wow. This place is a really big bathroom. Gee, I wonder why. Your recent vegetarian eating eating Taco Bell without meat is insanely good. I actually don't mind it. Um, I actually sometimes I go there. I just, I, I don't really trust the meat um, at places like that because they, sometimes they use a lot of filler ingredients so it's not like the, 
they they put too much crap in it. So sometimes I just like the bean meat, uh, not, I like the bean rice and cheese burritos. Sometimes that's just good enough to get without the meat and, and it works. Um, also I, when, um, Taco Del Mar, I think it was Taco Del Mar. Taco Del Mar is fucking good, but like their places kept vanishing out, oh, um, around here for some reason. So there's only like one or two left, but they, um, they have more of a vast selection for, uh, like they make more burritos and, uh, they're, they're Taco Del Mar stuff is actually, is it Taco Del Mar that I'm thinking of? Uh, they're more healthy though because they offer more like healthy ingredients like they even have fish like they have uh, burritos like spinach wrap burritos with like white fish and stuff and yeah, I used to eat there uh, quite a bit like when I was out and about compared to Taco Bell uh, let's see tacos delicious human sustenance also tacos mmm I am liking it okay very very human words fish tacos yeah I do like fish tacos I can actually get those from the um we have like a um a Mexican place like right near us that that's on the corner. Uh, it's it's a really great restaurant that was converted. It originally started out as a gas station, and um, something happened to the gas station, so it was emptied. And like for a while, I've told the story before, but for a while, um, it, they were it was just like a taco uh, van, like a taco bus or something, and they were selling stuff out of the bus for a while, and then eventually they bought out the. Um, the the gas station and like completely renovated it and turned it into a restaurant it's amazing yeah it is so it, it's like a little place but they got they got tables and everything in there their food's really good it's a very popular spot let's see i transform these ingredients into tacos get rats rats in here okay uh well they have a really big bathroom in here that kind of worries me we got why are these is that like green liquid or is is the drain on these urinals really fucking huge for some reason? These are very strange urinals. And and <laughs> I know so big because Okay, I, I I'm a janitor. I'm gonna say the 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 interesting thing about having a job is I, I used to do janitorial stuff, but and if you're a janitor, you're allowed to go anywhere. Basically. And so you get to see things that you would not normally see. So I've been in my share of, of urinals, <laughs> but yeah, these are weird. Why are they, where the fucking drains so huge on these? Like, what the fuck is going on with these? These look like AI generated. Uh, oh, it's a splash guard. Uh, that's actually better. That's probably for the best. People. I don't know. I've seen my share of like horrible stuff when it comes to, to restrooms. So people do like to go to the restroom in a hurry. <laughs> they really do. It's awful. I've digested the tacos. Oh, we got a meat tunnel in here? What the fuck? Oh, no. Can we get in here? You thought it was a urinal cake? Yeah. Um. You know what's funny? Not a lot of places even have, like, used those. I wish I could I, I could talk about serious pr flaws that I've seen when it comes to urinals, <laughs> but it sounds gross. Uh, from a janitor's standpoint of view, when it comes to like restrooms and stuff, um, I think this one it, it, water flow is very important. And the problem with a lot of urinals is that they don't sometimes they don't have good like um, water flow, and um, it, yeah, that that just leads to some very horrible stuff when there's not because a regular toilet if you you know most houses have a regular toilet they aren't um you know most houses have toilets and and toilets usually have like you know water at the bottom that helps you know things go down a lot of urinals don't have that you know have have an issue where there isn't enough water um you know helping to clean stuff going down so i am the taco bell you have released me upon the world. I'm sorry for talking about like stuff like that here, but we're in a bathroom, so might as well. Uh, I think that's that's it for this map. It's interesting because there's so many different designs. Isn't it weird? 
how like uh, we have so many different designs for things where we expel our fluids. Like you think there would just be one standard design, but no, there's like we we have like uh, it's so many different designs, even for just what for a thing to take a piston, right? Uh, let's see, housing crisis. I've seen some cursed ur pixels are of cursed urinals too, that just exist in the wild, like in bars and stuff. Let's see, next one is Housing Crisis by Worm. Yeah, this one's taking a while to load. Just call Birdo to take care of it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I made the, the joke before that Birdo's mouth looks like a fucking toilet. I, I mean, I'm sure it, it's been- it's been made. The joke has been made. Like, if Birdo lay down eh, anywhere, someone's going, you know, someone, someone might mistake Birdo for a toilet. Like, just with how big the mouth is. And that's a very cursed thought. Holy shit, they just just freeze. This map has, like, a lot of uh, images to load, so it's having trouble. Come on. You thought it was more like a plunger? You know what? It, how about it's multifunctional? It could be a toilet, it could be a plunger, it could be, uh, have many, many different purposes. Also, the game. I think the game just froze. God damn it. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. The fuck is going on here? Why are there so many eggs in here? Is it, uh, is it like a joke on, like, nest or something? What? It's an egg like- well, I mean, that's obvious. Okay. I like this, like, hallway. It's getting, like, smaller. They know about the egg shortage and are hurting him. I t I brought that. What? <laughs> what about a cameo from a, a muscle man over there? What does that have to do with housing? Um, let's see if I can get up here. I actually I saw an article about that and like brought that up to someone in like a, a family member and we were both talking about like where the fuck are people finding expensive eggs at? Where where are you buying your eggs? That are that expensive where you feel like you need to hoard the eggs. It has to be like, um, the only thing I could see... Now, I sometimes buy, like... Sometimes I'll buy, like, the stuff that's stated as, like, local farm eggs. And that I, that's obviously gonna be pricey. Like, um, the some of the farm eggs are, like, $6. Versus, like, the cheap ones, which are, like, I don't know, $3 or something like that, or less. But, um, you know, people are saying they're, like, buying, like, what, 11 $12, like, eggs? And they're saying they're going, like, Whole Foods or something? But, like, are you buying organic eggs? And, like, are you buying eggs from, like, local farms? Because the price jump is probably, you know, expected, in a way. Organic ones are the same price. Uh, common egg is more expensive. I haven't seen, like, I mean, at least here... I have not seen uh, a major price jump in the eggs, so I don't know where- maybe it's happening in certain states because- or happening at certain retailers, depending on where they get their eggs at, because I have not seen any expensive eggs. And I buy eggs, like, all the time because I eat eggs for lunch. Like, um... It's like my primary lunch that I, I usually eat. So I don't feel I need to hoard eggs. I feel like it would be hard to hoard eggs anyways. I mean, they can last, they can last for quite a, a while, but there's a point where you'd have to be careful. Oh, this is really fucking cool, by the way. We go from like ship post world to actual like, um, actual art here. Like illusions, wow. Okay, this actually, I actually thought that was actually, um, 
multiple images put together as a tunnel, but that's just like one image. That was our home. We don't live there anymore. Hmm. Yeah, this is interesting. This almost has the, um... You know the one place in the middle of time in Chrono Trigger that you, you stop at? I forgot what it was called, but it's got, like, it's, like, uh, got little islands. And it has, like, the little, um, the lanterns things in it. Everything looks the same. Where where do you go if you have nothing left? I guess here. Oh, so we're getting kind of like existential. I got going in the background. A bunch of people just wandering around. Huh. Oh yeah, at the end of time, yeah. This is really neat. See, best communities are the ones that house both the artisans with visions they want to put out and shitposty psychos. Because surrealism is where their Venn diagram becomes a circle. Yeah. Even I hate it here. Oh yeah, there is kind of like illusion going on with that image back there. Because it kind of looks like it's moving in the center. And the time looks like... uh. The Tranverse Town in Kingdom Hearts. Huh. Got like a house in the distance here. There's like, oh, this, this like map is massive. It's a lot of stuff in the distance. I think that's why it took such a long time to get through, like, I, I only got through, like, what, five or six maps last time I streamed this? Because, um, despite the simple nature of, uh, you know, putting maps together, like, someone could easily, like, throw a map together with a few images like that, but some people actually spend a lot of time, obviously, a lot of time like taking images and like you know carefully meticulously putting things together to create something that resembles like you know something you'd find like a walking sim in a unity game um so there's a lot to explore a lot of these like i think also because there's no other gameplay elements it's just the exploring a lot of people like pack these with so many different secrets and stuff so that you can have something a lot of stuff to look at and read and like piece together Friend house? Friend house. Oh. Can we go in here? The little house is in here. And Berg. Okay. Got Berg. Love, life, and Berg. Hi, Dragon. How you doing? This is my- What? No! What? I was kind of- Okay. Hold on. I need to take a moment for a minute. Um... I, you know, there's something about this map. It, it's, it goes from being shitposty. Confusion and shitpost to like, you know, something that, you know, something that would draw serious discussion, right? Uh, existential crisis. And then I go in this fucking house here. You know, I, I thought it was like, uh, we're going into a wholesome getaway to get away from like depression. And then I go around the fucking corner, corner and it's just meat. It's the meat lad. This is my meat room. Would you like to know where I got it? It's like tonal, tonal whiplash. Uh, you bought a Blade Runner movie poster. Uh, let's see, move your stuff around and place for the VR headset. Nice. Let me know how that goes, like, when you finally, like, get into things. It's such a big difference. Um, he's a sausage trailer. <laughs> Love them sausage. Um, I, I've mentioned it before, but when you go from like, uh, especially in VR chat, when you go from like desktop to, to VR, it's like going from 3D to like 40 or some shit like that. It's like going to another reality. It's like experiencing another reality, like a way to experience things in another reality that you never thought. Uh, is possible. That's why, like, um, if never, if, uh, someone hasn't tried VR before and they're not sure about it, it's really hard to, a uh, 
explain like to get them to like um understand what the the actual experience is when it comes to being in vr so it's like i can't really describe it it's like i don't know it, it's like taking like fantasy and reality just mixing it oh you know what you know what actually is the best way to to relate it to if you're someone who has vivid dreams uh you know where fantastical stuff happens i can almost liken it to especially in like vr chat or, or other games i can liken it to having a dream to actually be able to interact with stuff in a dream state uh that's the closest thing that i can compare it to it's, it's pretty awesome and um, the funny thing about that too is when I started using VR more frequently, um, my ability to do things in dreams and like the stuff I dreamed about and my coherence while dreaming seemed to get a lot better because I I don't know, I think it like helps your brain adjust to like, um, I don't know, nonsensical situations better. Like the way you perceive certain things in, in reality. I've heard that story a lot too. Uh, it seems to be like, um, w with people who tend to, like, vividly dream. I've heard that story a lot. How long have you had the headset? Uh, I think I got it in 2021, so it's... Is it two years? I want to say two years. I've had it, I think. It's the road out, trust me, the right path is the only way. And sometimes I'll dream about... Um, stuff. I'll dream about stuff as if I'm doing a thing in VR chat, too. I love dreams where I'm, like, hanging out with people. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, no. Why'd it take me back here? No. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna fucking... Oh, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get up there. Platforming in, in Sock Worlds is really hard. It is cool looking though. I don't really know what's gonna be. I'll try one more time, but it if you have platforms that look really dark and blend in with the sky, it's gonna be really hard to do platforming. Depending on who you are, uh, you might adjust. You either adjust to the headset quickly or it takes a lot longer for you. Just hope Decker gets announced soon, though. You really want the VR headset now that you got the space for it. I... I don't know what's gonna go on with the, um... There's no death in Sock Worlds? No. It either... Either, like, if you... If there is platforming, you either just, like, fall off and end up on the ground, or it puts you, like, back at the start. And, uh, so it makes platforming very difficult. Like, trying to get- there's a lot of maps where, um, I've tried to get to the top and it's just like an- it's just a hassle. And look how small these platforms are. And, uh, my sense of, like, it, when I'm platforming first person, uh, I have my sense of, like, direction. Or, or at least, like, where I'm standing is not very good. Like, uh, when jumping. I- I'm not able to, like, always be able to, um... Determine like where I'm I'm landing at. Oh, but god, I don't even know if I can get the Back up a little bit because the jumping is not that great. Holy sh no! Oh All right, that's enough of that. I guess if you guys happen to try this out. This one is called um Housing crisis by worm Let's see sure the index is still worth it in 2023, but I let's see of all your tech know-how and stuff you've seen and talk with other people. Makes it seem likely Valve is gonna announce their big thing soon. Um, yeah, that would be good. My only issue when it comes to, uh, I mean, obviously with the Index, they've been able to iron stuff out, like problems with it over time. So hopefully with the deck or depending on how it is, like they won't have any issues with it upon release. Um, do you think, uh, someone should explore VR chat on desktop before getting an index? Yes, I would recommend doing desktop. That's actually what I did quite a while. Like, there's a lot of people who had VR headsets and, like, uh, I kind of learned about VR chat through, like, Vinny and other people who had VR headsets and, uh, were doing VR chat already, so I just used it on desktop to explore around. 
And some other folks had desktop too, so it was fine to just do it that way. Um, so I used it for a while, and then that kind of like, uh, I eventually got convinced to get a, a headset as well. I'd actually, honestly, like, I was kind of intending to get a VR headset even before VR chat, though, so it just kind of made it my decision even more so. It, it is definitely worth it, though. Uh, just the amount of shit that you can do in VR chat and, like, the, that kind of, like, mimic real life in a way. I mean, hell, you can go to fucking, like, music clubs and things like that, like dance clubs and VR chat and everything. It's so much better with the, the actual VR headset. It's just a fucking amazing experience being able to experience that in VR. Like, it's really hard to even get, like, if you have used VR, like, you, you'd have to, like, you gotta have the headset to know what it's really like, you know, that experience. Okay, so next map. Wow, I'm already into an hour here. See, that's why these take small to get through these. Pizzeria by Mono. Mano? Mano, I think. Pizzeria. Here we go. I guess a lot of stuff you can do, though. Like, I, I watch movies with friends, you go to dance clubs. Uh, you can play different, like, uh, sports things in VR chat. Um, there's a lot of different games that people make in VR chat. I've even slept in VR chat. Um,. I don't know, this is just a lot. Not the Mano. This is uh, M A A N O. This is someone else. So maybe Ma Mano? Mano? Oh god, why do we have a corpse? Why is there a corpse outside of this pizzeria? That's not a good sign. Oh. Little, little bad kitty. Just stole this bike, lol. I hate living in this place. That darn cat is always playing the awful music. What? Why is the cat? Play the awful music and all the graffiti. Oh, the graffiti. Pizza is nice though. Why does he look like a gremlin? He looks like something that would be in like Skyrim. Like, um, I don't know, like an undead or uh, someone who's possessed by a vampire or something. The fuck? Yeah, this, um, Desktop kind of has its limitations when it comes to some VR chat maps, but you'll definitely see there's some really cool ass stuff that you can still enjoy in desktop when it comes to VR chat. There, there's so many worlds, really cool worlds that people make. Uh, let's see, it's a panda? I really wish people weren't so into pizza. It really hurts my biz. Well, what the fuck are you selling? Pavlov's hot dogs? But he, here's the thing, bro. You can you can capitalize on the interest of pizza and do like what what the um, what other countries do. Like get creative with the pizza and put like hot dogs on it. Make a hot dog pizza. Actually, fucking pizza, not fucking pizza. Pizza Hut, isn't it? Pizza Hut that has a hot dog pizza. One with like pigs and blanket, like on the pizza. There is a pizza like that. I don't know if I try it. It, I think the crust itself is like uh, got sausage in it, and so you can break off the crust and like dip it. There's a cat with a tie. Yeah, I think it's with the crust. It has sausage. Oh, that kind of sounds good. It's really like unhealthy, but <laughs> why are there so? Oh, this is the cat that was playing music. Is he playing bad music? Well, this dude like the. The Skelly Bones likes it. I mean, the cat's got an audience that likes its music. Wish I was as good as playing the banjo as that guy. The meme dog, yeah. Being a street musician is tough. That guy in the square is pretty steep competition. There's a lot of cats on this map. A lot of pizza cats. Uh, pizza Hut? Was Pizza Hut doing that as well? Costco pizza is hot dog pizza as an option. But it's Costco pizza, so don't try it unless you're willing to risk a stomach pump. Yeah. Aw. Look at the way he's sitting. Okay, we're actually gonna go to the pizzeria. There's a lot going on outside of it, so let's see what we got going on here. Oh, hell, look at this. 
I really like this girl. I hope this date goes well. We got monkey, a monkey date? Oh, monkey date. Why are there so many animals? Where are the, why are there like, why are the humans? Is there something like going on here where the, the humans are actually enslaved by the animals and forced to provide services for them? Because I'm starting to suspect that. I mean, there's a lot of humans like out on the street trying to make a living. My pizza is the best in town. Zootopia 2 plot. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I've ever been to a place that had really bad pizza. Obviously, um, what the fuck is the cheapest? Little Caesars? I would say Le Little Caesars pizza is probably the worst. And then some, like, store-bought pizza. Actually, sometimes store-bought pizza is, like, the in the freezer section. Sometimes you'll come across a brand that's actually really good for being, like, freezer pizza. Oh, we got another bathroom where people are destroying their insides. Um, occupied dude. Just shit posting on Twitter while on the pot. I shouldn't have eaten so much pizza. Sabaro so is only an airport, so you, let's see. Uh, Sabaro? So huh. I don't know if I recommend Sbarro because I, I've had... Now, maybe it was because it was a Sbarro in, like, um, a mall, but I don't think it's it's good at all. Like, I, I've had it, and it, it just does not... I have not had good food at that place at all. I had bad experiences there. Why is a robot taking a piss? Is he expelling his oils? Oh, we got more cats into the pizza. Uh, it's so good. Yeah, <laughs> you're pooping. There's just a bear here. Let me see. Uh, I heard the pizza's great. Let's hope it's that's true. I don't know. If people are like on the pot in there. Maybe the pizza isn't so good if it's destroying their bowels. You know, it's a trend of bathrooms not having mirrors. Oh, yeah. Wait, why is there fucking... I didn't notice it before. That's a little... spoopy. Okay, uh, let's see. What's the next one? Pokemon Lab. You guys ever remember Pizza Cats? That was like an old anime that used to, to play like back in the 90s. I used to watch that a lot. It was really, it was such a good anime. At least when I was a kid. I had a lot of fun watching that. They had like, uh, these little like samurai cat dudes that would deliver pizza. And they had like robots. And there was like little crow ninja dudes. And it, like, even got to the point of being fucking serious. It was- yeah, it did have a wacky dub. I think I only watched the- the dub version. Speaking of anime and stuff, here's a bootleg Pokemon lab. Is this supposed to be Gary? Oh my god. Why does he look so- I guess that was, like, maybe the only anime, like, boy that looked like him, but he kind of looks like- is this fanboy Gary? We got, we got bootleg fanboy Gary. Uh, they got Pikachu. Pikachu with the- wait a minute. Oh, I- that confused me, because it was- it- I keep thinking about the, uh, I don't know Desert's talk about it, but the Pikachu with the black tip on its tail. He looks like Lance? Who's Lance? Lance from what? That dude from the fantasy hentai? Oh. Is this an oil? What the fuck is he pumping? Is this supposed to be a Pokemon Center? Oh, it's Pokemon Go. Oh my god. I'm actually surprised Pixabay had Pokemon pictures to use. 
Because a lot of stuff, if you're trying to make like a mock-up of something in this, uh, in Stockwell's, usually it, it's almost like trying to make something out of clip art because, you know, a lot of it's like, uh, royalty-free shit, I think. So you're probably not gonna find a lot of, like, things that would be copyrighted. Let's see, recently saw a gif of realistic mouse teeth Pikachu. It was kind of cute, huh? Discord for this person? Reminds me of uh, VR chat, because most of the time people, if someone makes a map, they, they'll have like a computer. Uh, a lot of times like hangout maps, there'll be a place where someone's got their like, um, a mock-up of their, their computer and their desk and everything, and they'll have like a screenshot of Discord in it. It's a very common thing in VR chat, like for creators. Are these supposed to be the, oh, what the fuck are they called? Tauros? Tauros? Pikachu? And we got the three starters. Here's our bootleg Professor Oak. Oh my god. I think they probably could have done a better job on Oak. Maybe. Uh, what did you think of the VTuber Pokemon girl? Um, I'd seen her and there was some weird, I don't know, there's some weird, like, thing going on discussing her. I have no idea. Um, I didn't play the recent Pokemon game, so I only know, like, minimal surface level stuff about her. So, I just think she, um... She has wacky VTuber design. I don't know. Based on like most of the, of the, the kind of like brand popular v Japanese VTubers. So let's see, what what is? Oh, is that from the hentai? Yeah, it's, this is safe. This is a very safe image. It's not hentai. He's just showing the characters from said hentai, but in a very sa a safer work way. <laughs> um. I have mixed feelings on, like, over-designed VTubers, but that that's maybe a discussion I don't want to get into. So, <laughs> she looks like... I don't know how to describe her at all, but I guess over-designed works for a VTuber in uh, a Pokemon game, I guess. Because I think her hair... She looks like... She's got, like, pastel colors and, like, Pokeball hair or something like that. It's just, like, most Animu designs... I would say modern, a lot of modern things, which I'm going to say, despite as much, you know what? I know what it is. I know what it is that bothers me. Do you guys remember, um, Sparkle Dogs from Demon Art Days? Or like, um, characters, uh, people's OCs that were like, um, goth or tomboy hipster girls that are... Yes, I'm talking about that in like the, the sparkle dog uh, stuff where like the characters had like were very maybe a little too colorful and like over designed. I get that like some of the VTubers I see are kind of like that that I see. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, maybe. I mean, I guess it works, but it, like the, I guess it feels like um, if something like that is popular. Like, uh, it, you know, especially if you have, like, a lot of the VTubers who are at the top, like, even the, the corporate ones, who kind of use designs like that, and then you end up having a lot of people who are making, like, VTuber designs for themselves or for others for the first time, and then they decide to go for the most popular, what's trendy for VTubers, uh, which is fine, but, like, I see so much of that, and then it, it, it is nice when people, like, kind of have their own, um, especially when it comes to, like, you know, a lot of people will do, like, the same kind of anime designs. Like, they use the same, it, almost the same exact style. And it might be because they're actually commissioning the same artists, VTuber artists, and maybe that's why, um, like, the, there'll be an artist that's, re like, recommended by a bunch of, like, uh, popular people for, uh, for, for others who are, who want to commission a design. So you end up with so many different YouTubers who basically look, uh, very similar it's because a lot of people use v ride. I'm using v ride. <laughs> I'm actually using a V-Ride. Uh, I'm talking about 2D VTubers, actually. I'm not talking about the 3D ones. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with the uh, with both to actually differentiate them. Um, be like, from what is what ends up being very typical. Uh, if you don't do enough the v roids like your own custom like texture work and stuff, they're going to end up looking... If you don't do enough of your own, like, um, custom, like, modeling and, and texture stuff, you, the V-Rides are gonna end up looking 
Too similar to everyone else's B-Roids. I just mean that people use B-Roid to do the typical things. Yeah, it, they... Um... I kind of like, I was more referring to 2D VTubers though, because with the Vroids, they have like a base, a default thing that they're, that is built into the program. And so a lot of people won't choose to only, they'll only do like, um, very like bare minimum custom stuff in that. And then they just export it out. And so the, the issue with that is that they all end up looking the same, but I'm talking about people who actually have the, the ability to in the expertise to create something unique but they go for the most popular design and uh that's what i was actually referring to and that mostly applies i would say that that applies more to like the 2d vtubers because because with vroid is just yeah um you can actually take a i made a a thing for madge that i've shown that's completely customized and only use like bare bones stuff from uh, beer it as a base, but like everything else, I, I popped it in a blender and did so much custom work on it that it barely looks like, um, you could actually, if you know how, you can actually take Vroids and, uh, put them in the blender and do all your custom modeling and stuff over them and do like custom, uh, clothing and like equipment and everything like that. So there's a lot you could do if you, you know how to do it. Okay. So I think I stared at the starters up here. <laughs> Here's the bootleg starters. I'm gonna go to another map. Uh, let me see here. I've also seen some unique 3D models that people have made that aren't anime waifu type models for VTubers, and that's always pretty cool. Just like someone brought up earlier, like the bird VTubers I've seen people make, and then there's, um, oh yeah, I had Nortz too. Um, Nortz is like a, a V, Nortz is made out of a V, right? I don't know if I can switch to him real quick, hold on. This one actually has avatar selection. I could probably be Nortz for like a little bit. It's mostly, he's mostly designated. This is mostly designated for Vinny, so I don't want to use him too much. But yeah, you can you can do stuff like this and then like uh, pull it in Unity or Blender and uh, just like put custom stuff on it. Like I have like custom, um, wow, the bloom on this is where, um, yeah, I did Nortz using uh, V-Raid, so. So what you can do with these if you, you know, just put a little more effort into it. You can make non-anime stuff if you want to. Oh hell, I got Nacho in here. Yeah, let me let me do a Nahobino. I converted him into a BRM as well to use. I don't use him as much, but but yeah. Let me let me switch back to myself here. I even have blue. I have like blue version of me that I haven't used in a while. There we go. All my all my ducks are gone now. I've been cleansed of the duck uh, contagion. Okay. Uh, let me see. Next map here. Um, birds on Venus. Birds. Oh yeah, this one. One of your buddy that used a 3D cat as an avatar, you liked it a lot. Um, interesting thing is, um, like I was showing with Norts and stuff, you and the the Naho Bino that I had, you can take basically anything that you made a, a VR chat avatar out of, like even if you've done your own modeling, the stuff you can do with that in Blender to convert them over to use them in like a VTuber software if it's like a 3D thing. Uh, let's see if this thing loads. I guess my point with the VTuber stuff is, is that I think like, you know, a lot of designs are cool and all like the anime girl stuff, but I get a little bored of that. And I'd say that as someone who's like an Android waifu, but like, um, it's, I don't know. It might, it, there may be certain designs that I feel are being like overused and people aren't like, and then maybe people are going for those designs because they feel like it would be, it attracts the most attention. And well, you know, there are a lot of uh, VTubers who are trying to like, you know, um, get in the biz to sort of say like they they want to get in the biz and become popular. They they want to get uh, they want to apply for stuff and be a celebrity like their favorite anime waifu VTuber. And so that's probably why they end up going for those kind of designs instead of like maybe branching out a little bit more. 
I've seen a lot of unique VTubers, though, so it's not always the case. Uh, with mine, though, I'm not honestly... The thing with this model is, is a, I didn't make it to be a VTuber. This is actually a VR chat model. So I, this one started off uh, for as something that I could use in VR chat uh, first. And then I was like, um, I started... There were some games that people had made that I wanted to stream. And I was like, okay, I'll just use my VR chat model to use for streaming. And then it became kind of like a VTuber model. But it's... It, it's essentially, first and foremost, it's for VR chat, so... Why the fuck is this not loading? We got, like, a spaceship here? It's very cramped in here. Uh-oh. Bluebird? See, sometimes you go through the VTuber tab on Twitch just to find ones with interesting art styles and characters. Uh, pretty sure that's how I found you, although when I found you, you were just Naho beaning. Yeah, what, what was I playing? Was I playing SMT? Uh, the only time I tend to bring out the Naho Bino or the blue one is, uh, when I'm playing, like, SMT. Or something related to it. Any, any Megami Tensei thingy. Um, also it's because, like, lately, and I know people, some people might limit me not using this avatar in VR chat much, but I seem to have a dual personality now. It's because I, I like the design of the Nahobino. But I have a custom design Nahobino in VR chat that I like to run around in. So when I do my VR chat streams, I'm, uh, Nahobino a lot, and whenever I do my regular streams outside of VR chat, I tend to be the android a lot, so... Oh my god. Is this like Twitter? <laughs> is Twitter dying? Is Twitter sick? I don't know. There's a lot of blue birds, so I'm wondering what's going on here. Is this like a spaceship, but with Twitter birds? Sick Twitter birds? A very topical. <laughs> Your ponytail in the hall? Yeah, I like that one. I put a lot of stuff on them for dance clubs, too, uh, recently. Um, I, I add, like, audio link and stuff to his outline, so whenever I do, like, um, dance club events or, or music events and stuff, I usually bring that avatar in. I even added, like, a visor and some other extra stuff to the armor. Birds don't have hands. Yeah, I, I almost feel like it would be... Spicy to bring up stuff going on, on Twitter. Obviously, um, I still got my streamer account there, but I've been using um, I I'm on a VTuber instance for Mastodon. Well, I shouldn't say Mastodon because it's just it's not Mastodon. It just uses the API. Um, but I applied for a VTuber instance and got approved for it, so I use that one to post lately. So I'll, I'll like post. There'll be a lot of stuff I post on that one, and there'll be some stuff related to stream things that I post on Twitter still on my I stream Twitter, and, and that's about it. I don't post on Twitter as much anymore. Uh, sometimes I will retweet things I feel are a bit relevant, or, or games I'm involved in, or just stuff I kind of want to boost, but that's just about it. The midnight tweets? <laughs> yeah, I have the other- I have another Twitter. Uh... <laughs> Well, I mean, that's not actually Spies. Uh, I got rid of my old, my big old account, so the link to that one isn't, but I have a porn Twitter. And, and all, all I ever do is just, on that one, I mean, I just retweet, like, hentai and stuff on that one, because there's a lot of good porn art, and that's about it, really. It's nothing anything major. So I don't, like, on that one, I actually don't give a shit about, like, how Twitter is on that one, because I just use that one for porn, and it's whatever. I mean, it's not serious. Got a bunker? What happened in here? The bunker. Yeah, there was actually um I mentioned it in one of my Discords, but the with the third uh, party app thing, because they they blocked that off. One of the Japanese one of the apps. There's actually two, uh, two apps that Japanese users tend to use outside of Twitter to access Twitter and do things with Twitter. Also got killed off today or yesterday. Are you the same name on Messon and Fetty? Yeah. If you look up Agent Red Jackal, um, it's on VT.social. Uh, which is the VTuber one. Getting lost in here. Uh, I have slowly been seeing accounts, like, even bigger accounts that I usually see on Twitter. Like, some of the gaming and artist Twitters. 
I've been seeing on there, like even even people who shitpost like gaming stuff, I've been seeing them on there now. Um, so I, I'm slowly following people. I try to be proactive in boosting stuff from those accounts because that helps other people to find those accounts. So yeah, okay, so that's that. Um, I'm not familiar with Fetty. It's hard to explain. It's not quite Twitter. Uh, there's some Twitter like elements on it, but I, I, if you're going to it, don't expect it to be exactly like Twitter. Even though when I, I have an app I use for it on the phone called Tusky or something. And um, so when I'm using it, it still, it feels like Twitter to me. It's just not it exactly. So um, let me, let me do that. It's It's been fine for me, really. I think the only thing I lament is sometimes the search uh, isn't the greatest because things are spread out so far across different instances. So you're not going to get as much stuff to come up quite as much as Twitter, but it depends on like hashtags and everything. So um, that's why I, I try to find as many people to follow because then I can get a lot of content on the feed to actually look at and then like share. Uh, next one is Malkade. It's been good. I there's like uh people on like VR chat and like gamers and um a bunch of different stuff that I'm following right now. So it it's been nice there. And also everything's chronology chrono chronological. Like there's no algorithm shit that you don't have to deal with. So like I don't have to worry about lists or anything. There's like um I can use bookmarks. I can, uh, the, the posts are really long. You could edit your post. On my instance, I can like draw shit too if I want. There's like Oakaki and everything. Um, they have a lot of built in features where you don't have to pay. It's all like free. Um, you can throw, like, it's smaller. The instances, uh, all the instances, like, they're, it's kind of like Discord away. It's almost like all the instances are like, um, Anyway, it's kind of like a uh, discard where they're owned by very specific people, but they can just choose to implement whatever they want into the instance. So if you're on like, depending on what instance you are on, they might have basic features that are same, similar to other ones, but then they might have like extra stuff thrown in. Like the VTuber one that I'm on has like an Oikaki thing. So you can like scribble as I think you can pop up to like draw stuff and you can, like post it. Um, just little stuff like that. It's like an, uh, some mall map? Okay. Hey, keep an eye out for any hooligans. We've got reports of broken kneecaps and some sort of Easter egg hiding. Sounds senator sinister. What, a Astil? What? Missing answers to ass dome. Yeah, I I like Oikaki as well. I miss that. Apparently, like the old versions, I think they use like Java or something, and so they broke. But I think there's like a new, um version of it that, like, uh, more modern sites can run. So we technically a certain situation, we suggest mall go goers avoid the arcade. What's going on in the arcade? My only sin was being too good a gamer. Kind of fuck- oh my god, monster machines in here. monster. I don't know if you want to go in there. I don't get paid enough for this. Yeah, mall, mall bathrooms are uh, ugh. Place you don't want to be. Let's see. Until we technically a certain... Okay, I already read that. Uh, so we need to find the arcade. What's going on in here? Holy shit. I like the way they did this. Gamer zone. They even found like, uh, well, this isn't space carpet, so, you know. It's got the colors though, the space carpet that's usually in arcades. Like roller rinks and stuff. 
the fuck is this thing? I guess it's supposed to be like a driving game, but... You did watch my video on making 3D Naho plush? Uh, <laughs> good luck with that. I am not the best at explaining stuff, but I like using that method to make um, 3D plushes that way. I actually planned... Do you guys- uh, have you guys seen the, like, really fat, uh, Morgana plush that they released, uh, recently? As part of some thing that they're doing. I think they're gonna have more in that style. They, it almost looks like a pillow plush. But they have a Morgana one, um... And they kind of hinted at, like, doing more than just Morgana. Yeah, I think it's on the Atlas site. It was, like, a limited thing. And they- it, it's, like, a really- I wonder if I can get a picture of it. Did Hugby's commission it? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that kind of fat Morgana. Uh, let me see if I can go to the Atlas shop site. Uh, I may have taken a picture of it. Here. Uh, did they eat it? Oh, no. Oh, I gotta get it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can get a, a picture of this lad and I will, I will show you guys. Uh, let me put on my desktop. Oh, WebP! I don't know if Xplit- Oh, I get so fucking tired of WebP. Uh, I don't know if Xplit- If I can drag WebP into, um, Xplit. Let me see here. Might let me? Okay, it does. This thing. This lad. Yeah, that one. The Huggables? I guess it's not quite a, a pillow, uh, plush, but it's- It's a very big one. Um, honestly? Considering they're kind of on a roll now, they've been making stuff uh, when it comes to like cute things, and they they I think they hit it. They're gonna do more than just Persona. Um, you know, they made like the they had a collab where they made like Nahobino, Algami, and Morgana, right? And Jack Frost. Okay, those are the things that seem to be selling well, right? So I have a feeling that when they do more of these, um, I still think it's fucking funny that the Nahobino is being treated like a mascot. I guess, like, normally when it comes to, like, Atlas uh, properties and mascots, it's usually, like, the animals, right? Uh, or something like I guess. But, like, now the Nahobino, the Nahobino himself has become, uh, like, an animal mascot in a way. So I have a feeling when they do more of these, um, so what you're saying is surf plushy? Maybe. I don't know, though. It depends on, like, if they... I don't expect the Surf plushie to happen, but, I mean, that would be good, great. I do expect them to make, um, just to add to, like, the number of Nahobino plushies that exist, I'm actually kind of expecting them to make a Nahobino one. If they do, though, it'd be like a pipeline. Because, um, you had the first Nahobino plush that was limited, and he looked like, you know, angry and normal. And then you have the second one that came out, and he started getting, like, um, he's getting fatter. And, and more, um, plush-like. And then if they release a Nahobino that looks like this fucking thing, it's like he's becoming... What do you even consider that? It's like, um... It's like animification, but plushification in a way. Like, like he his, his plush levels are going over 100%. So, so yeah. I would buy it, though, if they made one in that style. <laughs> Moification, yeah. There would be memes for it. I want that Morgana plush too, but um, I'm kind of like tight for funds at the moment, so I can't really like uh, splurge too much on plushies as much as I want. Kawaiification. Imagine an SMT merch item that is mainline or persona. Yeah. Okay, let me get back to... If I'm not gaming, I don't want to be breathing. God help me. You know, that's something that's probably on one of those fucking t-shirts that they- that your parents would buy you because you're such a gamer. You know, the, like the embarrassing, uh, text t-shirts? Or something that would be on, like, a hat? Be amazing. Raider. In SMT6, the main character should have to face a plushie of themselves. <laughs> God. If they may ever make a manga or an anime of, like, SMT5, I do want the, the Nahobino plushes to show up in some fucking way because they've been memed so much that they've taken a life of, them own, of their own. There's so much art of those things that they're like gremlins. Like, the, the Nahobino plushes have become gremlins that just do whatever the fuck they want. I like this dude. Prize counter. 
Is that fucking Sonic? Let me see that. Can I get over here to look at that? He looks so depressed. Who's ever in that, like, Sonic costume is not having a good time? Amazing. Oh, yes! Like Nico Arc. They've become like Nico Arcs, but of Nahobino. They're they're destructive little um gremlins. And like the Japanese art whenever people draw them like uh Japanese artists and stuff, they're always like causing a lot of problems. Actually just like um Amanozako, I guess, which makes sense. Cause Amano Zaku is is tied to Nahobino, but she's like supposed to be a bit of a troll. So <laughs> um a bit of chaos. Uh let's see. Next one is Tiki Terries. Let's see if I have enough time. Okay, good. I've got like 30 minutes, so. I love how like even though we're exploring maps just made with images, they inspire so much discussion. That's why I like doing stuff like this and exploring because um, as much as I like playing, like, game games that have, like, you know, a lot going on, sometimes I like, I like egg likes and, um, walking sims with a lot crammed in them, uh, with text and images because it allows me to talk about stuff, like, actually have conversations about a lot of things without me having to worry on paying attention to like um gameplay so oh my god there's a lot going on here naho plush with the bikini yeah there is there is those they have um there is art of that thing with the what the fuck do you call those the mini kinis the ones that have like the triangles that are common in japanese like uh art that like barely cover your nipples Gonna tell you, I'm telling you, bro, we gotta start a podcast. Why does he look like he's twerking? Is that a twerking robot man? Well, that's the last time I agreed to a threesome. Oh, no. They don't, they look like ashamed. What did you guys do with that toaster? Where did you stick it? I think the, to the toaster is ashamed as well. Micro bikini, yeah. Micro kitties. I, <laughs> I love, I love micro kitties. I'm very, oh, oof. My uh, micro kitties on, on, on people do me good. Do me good. I love this place. They don't card or care if, you, you know what I also like that's, that's popular? The, uh, the verse bunny outfits. Uh, which is, is like, seems to be, I don't know if it's like started because of Japanese porn, but, um, I see it a lot with like, you know, stuff so <laughs> yeah i like i like them reverse bunny outfits actually a good combination is it a reverse bunny outfit but if they're wearing and i've seen this too micro bikini but with the reverse bunny outfit combine those those together and that would be really nice i'm not into pasties because like um with the the reverse bunny outfits you'll see like people wearing like heart pasties and stuff i'm not really a big fan of them but the the mini kinis i do like those so <laughs> uh we got a moa guy here selling some some alcohol got a lot of, lot of stuff in here We might be shadows, but we still like to get effed up. Okay. Uh, real gamers know where it's at in this place. But where are the gamers? All I see are, are people who are drunk. I lost my home and all my puffles, and now I come here to draw my pain. Just want to make friends. There's a giant eggplant in here. Oh, okay, they have like a little, uh, itty bitty thing going on. Break my score, I break kneecaps. The gamer zone. Oh, they actually, they actually got a Mortal Kombat cabinet here, what the fuck? Oh shit, there's like a little hidden area over here. Um... 
Oh, were you trying to post a link? Yeah, I'd have to I have to like uh, VIP some more people. I think I'm at my limit though, because I think it's like at 50. So uh, you have to, because of the limit, um, you have to DM the mods in order to, to get that posted. It kind of sucks there's like a 50 limit though, because there's a lot of people who are regulars and it's definitely over 50. So I don't know like what they do. Is it over 50? Maybe I have 100. Maybe I'm at 100, but it's still, uh, it's still at its limit, so... Crab room? What's this, crabs? Crab bets. Oh, we got a crab fight here. A uh, better way to do it is allow a whitelisting system where you spend points. Oh, okay. I didn't know... Did you know there was a thing? I didn't know... Well, I guess you can because, uh... Twitch channel points, there's a, like a bunch of stuff that you can do with those, so maybe I can look into it to get around the limits, the VIP limits. It was just a custom Naho plush and a maid outfit? Oh my god, please send me that. <laughs> I want to see it. Oh, I need, I need, I need the image of that. I, I like a lot of the custom uh, plushes that people have made, like because of... Uh, you know, that first Naho plush, uh, was- is limited, so not a lot of people got to get it. So a lot of, like, especially, like, um, and also the- the one that they're selling, like, the Stubbins plush, that isn't really available for people outside the U.S., so I think people have to, like, do, uh, I don't know how Japanese users are getting those shipped to them, because I think it was U.S. only, which fucking sucks, because- like, um, Atlas in Japan isn't really doing a lot of plushies. It's all like the Western stuff. So, yeah, uh, you have a good one, Ox Champion. You have a good one. But yeah, what, it, it, it kind of sucks because, like, the, the US Atlas is, like, um, doing all the plushies and stuff, but, like, Atlas Japan isn't really doing the plushies. And so, like, people over there, like, like the stuff that we're getting, but they don't, they're, you know what they do over there for, like, SMT and stuff? Fucking acrylic stands. Like, like, I know people like those, but it's, like, uh, most of what they're doing is, like, oh, here's, like, a backpack or a handbag or a little thing to store stuff in with a, a cute little design. And here's, like, acrylic stands of some characters, but not all of them, and that's it. They don't get the plushies over there for, like, SMT stuff. It's very bare bones. Okay, next one is Jester Fester. They're not getting the good stuff. It's like, uh... It's like, what's going on? They want that stuff too. <laughs> Especially the plushes. I, I, I don't know why uh, Japanese Atlas is like, uh, skipping out on that stuff. It's weird since it's usually the other way around. Yeah, I don't know. The weird, I don't know, their priority is a little weird, I guess. Edible Magatama. Would it be great if they had, like, uh, Magatama gummies or something? I would totally fucking buy that. They get all the other cool shit from other vendors. Yeah, usually it's through, like, collabs. Like, other, um, anytime there's, like, cool stuff that's done for SMT or Persona, it's through, like, other retailers. Usually. What is going on here? Are this hot? Is that like a pile of hot dogs? What? Oh my god, look at all these. <laughs> He's only white. There's tiny people. Tiny people. Uh, you feel like a Magatama or a candy it would taste like black licorice. That would be interesting. Um. Atlas just doesn't seem to understand marketing, period. Yeah, I don't really know. You think, like, them being bought out... Now, Sega actually kind of lets them do their own thing. Maybe that's why. You think, like, uh, being, um, you know, bought up by Sega, there would be... They'd get a little help in that department. Maybe they do with Persona, but, like... Um... With SMT, it's, that's another story, I guess. Ah, who shall kiss me under the poop? I almost misread that as poop tree. The poop tree. The poop tree. Oh my god. Look at- Look at this thing. Is it wearing like black leather underwear? This thing saying something? Let me see. Oh, I'm stuck. I would love to smooch those papa lips. 
Okay, let me check the, um... Oh my god. Oh, wait. I think I, I recognize who this is. Uh, I think I know who made this. Um, it's cute. They have, like, little miniature props, too, that they've been doing. I forgot the artist, but I do believe I follow them. Hold on. Let me see here if I can minimize this real quick. Pull this into, uh... <laughs> This is cute. Yeah, people make have been making a bunch of um, things. Also, the people who have the Stubbins plushes, they are like Build-A-Bear size. So you can put outfits on them. Eventually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll get like an outfit something to put on my, uh, the Naho you know, that I have. But yeah, this is like really cute. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, he wants to smooch the Pope, I guess. God, what am I doing here? All these eggs were so much fun at first. Now I'm just sad. What the fuck were you doing with the eggs? Are they like milking? Well, that's a rooster though. You can't... I don't even know. Are they milking eggs from a rooster? There's a duck too. What the fuck? There's so much happening in this map. Oh, that's an interesting way to do, um, perspective. It's like, kind of have it shrunk in there. But, oh, oh, shit! Oh! Boobies! It's a good thing I, I, I caught that really quick, but, um... <laughs> You won't, you don't see that too often. It, there isn't a lot, yeah. It's not intentional, so it's probably for the best. Okay, it was very quick. Hee hee ho ho! D dost thou not know the motives of this realm ought to think twice ere they fall afoul of our jester's paradise? Okay. The fuck? Is this Jesus? Jesus has become society man. Pretty sure one of the tiny creatures said bear titty and you were looking at them for a while. I didn't even notice. I maybe I blinded it. Who the fuck are they burning? Whose face is this that they're burning? Jesus going Joker mode? Yeah. My god. Why is there trash behind it? There's a lot. This this map is ca oh. <laughs> well, why is there so much Jesus in here? Let's see, uh, it's a good thing my master Pope jump. What the fuck would be so mad about the jester infestation in the chapel? Okay, I think I'm gonna leave now. Wait, is there more? A hort. Oh, that's actually cool. Cool way to do the, the thing on that. Okay. <laughs> the emoji covering Jesus' crotch is definitely classy. Yeah. Jesus weeps. He is weeping. Weeping for our generation right now. Are we going here? Are we going here? Sounds. Jesus have make me a cuckold. What? <laughs> What? What? All right. Uh, I think I have like one D and D, but cool, safe for work. Okay. I think that's the last one, and then I'll end the stream. D and D, but cool. Okay. What the fuck is this? I wonder where a lot of these 3D models. Oh, okay. It says safe for work, so. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! It's a lot of titty in here. Alright, is this like. Got lesbian centaur?
<laughs> it does have um oh porn games yeah it does it definitely the the 3d models they they do have that like uh cg like cg porn or or porn game feel to them early 2000 porn models yeah that's what they they look like they have to be why are they on pixabay of all places Werewolf man. That centaurs are holy shit, look at these! Look how stacked these centaurs are! Holy fuck! Uh let's see, have you seen uh, the one RPG sex game Brittle Moose played? It's got that sort of stank to it. I don't think I have. I'm gonna have to like look that up. Um, the cast of the Shrek porno? You're definitely gonna miss a bear titty that is gonna be on screen here. Okay, well, I think, uh, yeah, I see it. I actually see it from a distance, so I can just avoid it. It's on that- oh shit, I got stuck. Here we go. We will- we will walk past that. Okay. Why is there a Bulbasaur here? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Think I'm good now. All right, that's that's the final map. You guys can look at that the uh, the the centaur baking love. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, you guys have a go. I think that'll be it for. Um, actually, you know what? I have 15. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Wait. I've still got 15 minutes. Hold on here. That was one I actually wanted to look at real quick before I end. You did me the video I and Ian made on that stinky adult RPG game. Uh, yeah, one more map. Um, if the person making Oak Slab couldn't find a Bulbasaur, I appreciate the bootleg Bulbasaur. Ooh. What are these SC1 maps? I almost feel like maybe these might deserve their own stream because these might be... Rats are cuter. Let's see. These look like artsy maps based on the thumbnails. Yeah, look at this. So people have been doing... Um, okay, so there's definitely some new stuff here. Um, Dream of Sponge? Nostad sounds really familiar. God, there's, I can't believe there's like more. This one actually has a lot of likes on it. So let, let's do this one. I don't know if Nastad was one of the people that made um one of the, the vine sauce theme maps because there's quite a few people in here that made things with vine sauce references in them. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. What? Oh, is that SpongeBob? Can I actually go in here? Oh, I don't want to get stuck. A Discord Discord community? What? Oh shit. I like the way they would made this little like room here. Okay, let me see if I can go through the TV. Oh. Can I not get to him? Is... Yeah, I guess I can't. It just looks like the same rooms copied over and over again. And a bootleg sponge with pickle nose, so... Yeah, that's it for that. Uh, let me see what else we got here before I leave. Uh... Newest... I wonder if there are any cum maps. Let me see if cum... Do we cum? No, it, it translates to cute. <laughs> Only one cum map. Only one. Um, oh, people are making a lot of stuff ever since like Vinny, Vinny and me been like streaming this, and um, so a lot of people are making new stuff. 
ducks or cuter. Well, we have a duck map. I don't expect much of this, but you'd say cum is pretty cute. <laughs> How about a scum map? Maybe scum would bring up something. Here, how about something more wholesome before I leave? No, that's not wholesome. Let's see. Rats indulge in ooey gooey meat pooey substance. Need I say more? The cigarette helps me ir helps my irritable bowel syndrome. What the fuck? Uh, never mind. I guess this isn't that wholesome at all. That is simply not true. Ducks eat dangerous spiders, and that is good. Let's see, remember, even though ducks are better than rats, you must respect rats and love them as well. Otherwise, this is what happens. No! No! <laughs> no! I was- I thought this was gonna be a palate cleanser. What the fuck? Oh, no. Spider can't eat you. Looks like a duckless human's problem. What the fuck? The rats are too powerful. They took my wife, kids, job, everything. The rats win. Why is there... Why are there, like... Sahara deserts in here? Or, uh... Sahara... Animals! Yeah, well, what's with the animals in here? Um, piranhas... Quarantines? What? I cannot read, but I imagine the contextual contents of these signs are quite profound. Okay. I don't even know. I'm... I'm fucking confused. Let's see, the creator of this map probably steals copper wire from people's housing infrastructure from time to time. Ugh. Let's see if I can pop one more here before I go. Uh, there's some- there's things that just look cool, so I might save them for another stream later. Ninja Turt World? Ninja Turt World, okay. Let's see what this is. Come on. See a lot of the same images being used in these maps sometimes. Uh oh. The fuck? Ninja Turtle World. What? Marge? Oh no. I like how these are like Among Us that people can use. Marge, I got caught in the grid. There's so much cheese. The fuck? What the fuck? Hi guys, it's me, Pirby. Is this your OC, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> this is like an edgy... Oh. OC energy. Is that it? Is that really? No, there's more. There is more here. I... Let's see. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Wait, is that fucking... Uh, what the fuck is that game? With Among Us. The, the music game, what the fuck's it called? Five Night F and F? I, not Five Nights at Freddy. Friday Night Funk. Yeah, combined with Among Us. Oh my god. Look at googly eyes. The hallways have googly eyes. So much chaotic energy in here. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh wait, there's something on the stairs. Uh, turtle, okay. Here, let me explore. Um, epic parkour. Why is there so much to this map? The fuck does that say? It says, my son, I worry for you. I worry for the creator of this map. <laughs> oh my god.
I like the ball pit. I like that there's a ball pit in here. I appreciate that. Very cool. Welcome to Dash Con. <laughs> oh, that's fucking amazing. Good job. Uh, holy shit, that's a lot. Is there more? Whoa, hey man, you found my secret egg. Wait, is this the back rooms? Minecraft? There's a lot of zoomer. Okay, this map is full of like. Uh, so much zoomer energy. Wait a minute here. We we need to see what's going on here. Platforming? Oh my god, what the fuck did you do? Yellow family enclosure. Why is there blood in there? It really is kind of like in uncovering like a murder mystery in these maps. I'm trying to figure out what the, uh, there's the Sonic. Now I can actually look at it closer. Oh no! It's movie Sonic! Oh my god, no wonder it looked awful. Wait, no, is this from the movie? But why does it I thought it was like a dude wearing a costume. Is that actually from the movie? It's cute movie Sonic? It's the redesign? Okay, it just looks- it looks weird, though. It's something weird- I mean, it looks like a dude wearing a fucking costume. Okay, well, I think that's enough of that. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, that'll be it for now. You guys have a good one. We'll end it there. We'll we'll end with the Dashcon uh, sign. I think that'll be it for today. A lot of good maps, a lot of fun things happening during Goose Goose Duck. So I'll end it here. Uh, you guys have a good night. It's been a good one. Uh, let me see who else is streaming because I usually like to raid. Let's see. We got. Uh, I think I gotta send you to. I haven't raided Rick in a while. Ricky Bus is actually streaming right now. That is a VTuber. Um, that is in my Discord and um, very cool person that has a really cool design for their VTuber. Actually, um, usually, usually he's playing uh, a lot of interesting like Japanese games, like some obscure obscure ones. So I think I'll send you over to him. Great Rick. And then I will see you late, guys later. There you go. Off you go. You have a good one. Oh, um... There you go. Okay, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>